today we struck out across the plains and we're really sort of starting that long slow glide downhill. I love the mountains and I miss them already but I'm in love with the plains. Photographer Mike Forsberg and filmmaker Pete Stegan are in the midst of an adventure. They're following a mythical drop of water over 1,300 miles from its high mountain source in Wyoming through its journey down the Platte River until it joins the Missouri. It'll take almost two months on bike, on foot, in a canoe. But why? We are primarily made of water. All life on this planet depends on water. I want us to know where our water comes from. They've traveled for 35 days, overcome every challenge, and at last they've made it to the Platte. A braided river meandering east through a state named for the river itself, Nebraska. Flat water, a river full of surprises. Off the new one. Yep, it's gone. What just happened, Pete? Well, I'm having a little quicksand issue. And we only got one croc. So that's what we had to go over. Get around anyway, not go over. Go over and you're dead. We can get around it one way and do maybe about a quarter mile, uh, maybe even half mile portage. Light as a feather if you stick together. <laughs> Pete's looking for a opening in the dense cattails so we can get around this thing and I'm walking the boat slowly hauling our gear. Here's our path. Should have brought the machete. I don't see what the big deal is. Found a way. And then, the biggest obstacle of all. Eventually, we weren't in a river anymore. We were in a lake. The river becomes a lake, and things are going well, and the wind starts to pick up. So we got waves in our boat. We're going across these waves, so a little, little bounce in the bow. They had entered 22 mile long Lake McConaughey. When we entered it from the river, you cannot even see close to the dam. Like it's, it's massive. Once these waves started happening, we started thinking maybe this isn't safe. And then this gate swings open and closed like this. Nate Nielsen, foreman of Kingsley Dam, portages Mike and Pete past Lake McConaughey over the earthen dam and sends them on their way. It was a lot of work for those guys. They, uh, they had a lot of fun, I think, but they, they were working hard. There are surprises hidden beneath the water. I picked it up, pulled it out, and like sand started pouring out of it. Looked at it, 
and held it and thought, whoa, this is a bison horn. Like when was the last time that bison have been around here? Before we started putting these bridges, before we started getting a handle on the wild, the wild was here and it was everywhere. There's so much before me. There's been so much before I have stepped in this sand. On day 55, the last full day of their journey, the river has one more surprise for them. I had the tent set up and Darkness had fallen and there was lightning flashing off in the distance. It's almost like it was a show for us, you know, it was like building and growing and lightning. That was probably the most intense storm that I've ever been in. The walls were sucking in and then blowing out and sucking in. And it was crazy. We woke up the next morning and everything was glistening. The river had risen almost to flood stage, and the clear river with braided sandbars that we had been paddling through for several days prior all of a sudden was a chocolate milkshake with you know, huge piles of, of foam and huge upwellings coming from below, you know, like just, like just big belches of water coming up. And we sort of looked at each other and thought, well, Got like 14 miles to go and we can't stop now. This is amazing to see this. Well, it seemed like the water was saying, you're done, time's up. You followed me all the way to the mouth. Time, time to get out. They have reached the place where the Platte River becomes the Missouri. Thank you there. Nice work. This river is me, this river is you, and if you live in this basin, it's, it's you. It's, it's, you should care where your water comes from. I think it's, it's so fundamental that we almost overlook it. We have this tiny little wedge of water that we all need to survive. We all need to be able to share it. We all need to be able to understand it. That's a pretty powerful thing. 